So there's that story about the time that God sent fiery serpents to bite everyone in Israel. And uh, if they got bit, they, they died. So he, he fixed it by holding up a bronze serpent on a pole. And if you looked at it, you lived. And that's weird, right? Except not really. Um, so here's the thing. Words actually do damage. Uh, that whole sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you thing. That it's really not true. Uh, in fact, words have so much power that God used them to create everything. And so, well, when the people spoke against the Lord and against Moses, they're not just sort of complaining about the food. They're not even petitioning him to, to do better. They're, they're speaking against. They are actively using their words for evil. This is not in looking for the promise. This is not in fear, love, or trust. There is power behind their words when they speak against God. There is real damage done. This is unbelief put to work. And words have power and sin breaks stuff. So God holds a mirror up to them so they can actually see what it looks like. He sends fiery serpents that use their mouths to kill. See what their words actually are. See the damage that words used against you can do. If you have ever been the one that somebody talks about, you know just how painful words can be. This is actually what sin looks like. This is what it does. Uh, they, 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 the people who, who spoke against, they used their words for, for death, for evil. And so God says, look at what it looks like. This is what sinful mouths do. Um, and so they finally see just how much it, 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 how much hurt comes from. It. And they ask God, take this away from us. But he doesn't. He, he can't to take away the, the mouths that, that use uh, words for evil would be to take away the things they're attached to. It would be to condemn the people. It would be to punish them for their sin and actually send them to hell. Ours is the God who answers a prayer of a hurting people, though, not by simply taking away the things that are evil, like the sinners in the first place, but by meeting it in exactly what it looks like. He lifts up a fiery serpent upon a pole. Ours is the God who, well, he makes the very thing that's killing them into the thing that is the source of life. He takes all of the sin of the world and he hangs it on the cross in Jesus. That looking at that cross where all of our sin, all of our evil words, all of our awful misdeeds, those are hung right there. That looking at that where Jesus bears the cross, we would live. He sent his son into the world to become your sin and your pain and your evil and even your death. Lift it up upon the cross that here we would have peace and life. Look upon the sacrifice of Jesus. And then you don't have to simply say, I wish there was less bad things in the world because, well, I'm part of it. Instead, you can say, Lord, save me a sinner and know that he does. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university, with values.